let's start with chapter 2 Chapter 2 is about landscapes and in this chapter we will learn how we can create landscapes from scratch and from custom height maps. So without further ado, let's start. So once you will get your Unreal Project Browser, you have to go to the games, then we'll choose blank. And after that, we will choose here starter content because we might use some material from the starter content if uh, you want. Otherwise, you can uncheck it, but I might use some materials from there. Then uh, ray tracing because uh, for this lesson, we will not focus on lights, but in our lighting chapter, we will use the same scene for the light setup. That's why I, for now, I will be just putting ray tracing to make it uh, like to make it uh, uh, light placement ready so that we can start putting the lights in our lights chapter so that's why from uh, from now I will be like keep it uh, enable the ray tracing itself here I will write it landscape project and I'll press create so it will start creating the project Okay, so now we have our project ready. So it's preparing the shaders. Let me dismiss this. And now I'll go to the content drawer here and inside the content, I will right click new folder and I will call this folder landscape. Inside the landscape, what I will do here is that I will make a new level as discussed before this level that we have is the main level. And as it's a gaming software, like the game development software, it works on levels. So here, just like we have documents in uh, for like Photoshop or scenes in Adobe Animate or compositions in uh, After Effects, we have levels here. So now I'm in the landscape folder. I will right click here and I will choose level and I will call this landscape underscore level and now I'll double click it once I will double click it it will ask me to save my current level so I will just press save select it and now you can see everything is black the reason is that because there is no light now what I will do is that I will place the lights but you don't have to worry about if you if you are not sure what's going on because in detail in our light uh, like setup classes, we will learn uh, how to place lights in detail. But just right now, you can just see what's going on, but don't worry about it. I will just go in the window and there is a light mixer option here and also an environmental light mixer option. I will go to the environmental light mixer option. And here, I, what I need to do is that first I will, uh, like these in the environmental light mixers, there are total uh five number of lights that you can create it like which you can create uh the first two are the lights skylight and the atmospheric light and the rest of them are the atmospheric effects so i will just click on one by one and it will keep on adding here and once you are done it's everything is already set up so you don't have to worry about anything you just have to click those very easy, very fast. And I have all these lights here. Now, what I will do is that inside the outliner, I will select all of them. And then I will click on the folder so that I can put them in the folder. And I will call the folder lights to stay organized. Now, what I will do here is that it's only a light, basically. Okay. So we don't have any sort of landscape or any sort of uh, item over here now before going what i will do is that i will go to edit pref uh, and editor preferences and here what i'm going to do is that i will invert my middle mouse button panning so that it actually works like maya because i find it quite annoying whenever i'm working on and also what you can do is that you can do the uh, you can use the awsd key with your right mouse button that is also an option but i like to work as just like in maya so that's why i keep it that way now you have the modes here so we have to go to landscape mode to create a landscape 
once you will move to the landscape mode it will show you uh, a an empty plane okay at the wireframe and if i zoom out you can see that it's kind of like this now what you can do is that here you can convert the, uh, this item into a like this plane into a landscape itself so first of all you have here manage option then you have here sculpt option then you have here paint option if you want to sculpt the landscape you have to go inside the sculpt option okay so it says like like there is no landscape uh, being created yet so what you need to do in the manage you have to create a new landscape but before doing that you have to set up all these settings for me it's all right because you have the location i want it to be here i want uh, its rotation to be flat so i will not change anything and scale is good for me the quads are 63 by 63 each one of these quads are 63 by 63 so that is fine for me selection per uh, composition is one by one so every one uh, block like like section will be edited by its own so that is also right i have eight by eight uh like uh, blocks like you can say one two three four five six seven eight and the same here okay this is overall resolution which is fine total components is 64 that which is also fine so i'm satisfied with the whole thing so what i just need to do is that i just have to press create button so once i do that it will be uh, it will start importing landscape using these option and i have this uh blank uh landscape like a flat landscape and you can see that as i created it it quickly moved from manage to sculpt so now in the sculpt i have here sculpt option so what it can do is that using the brush type what kind of brush you want uh you can sculpt mountains just like this i can easily sculpt mountains okay now I can reduce the uh, brush strength or in increase it from from here if i increase it so it will start making uh like it will be more aggressive more higher results i will get it okay just like this or if you want it to be less so i can do that or i can reset it plus brush size so i can increase the brush size less like this you can see the brush size is more higher and you can see like there is a fall off uh, around the brush so what it do is that it keep its sides more like uh you can say smoother if i will reduce the brush fall off so there is no fall off so the result will be more like you can say flatter so like there's no smooth like uh like surrounding uh, on it so that's what you can do i will reset all the settings so this is how I will I will get my uh like you can say landscapes here plus here I have different type of brushes different type of fall offs so I have here one uh brush which is uh with the texture on it so if you draw with it so it will give you this sort of a result okay it is good for something which is more like uh not smooth like rocky sort of uh, like a surface so what it is doing is that if you see it have this checker texture and it's keep on rotating or you can see that it's producing a noise effect okay because randomly it's keep on like uh, changing its rotation so that's how we get uh, like this kind of a uh, a texture like a rocky texture with it okay now i have here all the other uh more like settings so you can check all of them uh they like uh one by one because i cannot uh go through each one of them then here i have here pattern brush and the pattern brush is more like that but you have some other options as well like you have uh, uh like uv patterns as well you have uh, other stuff okay other than that we have here uh work with entire landscape component so what it will do is that it will just uh take each box like uh, you can say each quad and it will start working on that quad so you can make something like this okay and like that's what it is right now so other than that here let's go back to the basic one and here we have sh uh, like a smooth fall off then we have sharp fall off it will be like this if you will go through it okay 
Then here we have a spherical like fall, like fall off. So your result will be more like this sort of thing if you will see that. Okay. And then you have here like tip off. Okay. Fall off. Like tip fall off. So you will have different sort of results with these. Let's keep it as it is. Now, apart from that uh, sculpt tool, we have erase, which will erase whatever you have created. Okay. And then you have uh, like mm, almost like same sort of options here for the the for each one of these tools. Smooth tool, what it do is that it smooths whatever you have created. So maybe if you have used this uh, tool to create this sort of a quad, so you can smooth it up and then you can make big mountains, okay? Or steps or something like that. So you can see that how smooth it has become right now. So this is how you can uh, work off with these sort of tools here. Now, flatten tool, what it does that it flattens your uh, like more like surfaces. So if you will see that this this is how it is flattening. So whatever is uh, kind of uh, you can say uh, uh, like those mountains that have peaks heights. So it's kind of flattering it. So then we have here ramp. Now ramp needs two points. So if I will take the ramp, it will first ask me the first point. What does the ramp do is that it creates a ramp between uh, two points. Like suppose we have this mountain range here, but if what if we want a ramp between these uh, like this mountain? So I can click first spot here, okay? And then uh, I will drag the second spot wherever I want. And how I want the ramp to be, I can create this sort of a uh ramp for uh there and then once i'm satisfied i can add a ramp and you can see a ramp between the uh that those two points has been created so this is how you can create a ramp roads and extra uh etc then we have here erosion basically erosion tool uh, what it does that it makes your scene more look like eroded eroded by the weather or by the water so just like erosion effects it gives you then the hydro hydro is basically suppose uh when you have rain and uh, with the like with the rain how your mountains are deformed so, or uh, shapes up so it kind of creates that sort of an effect here so you can see that if i'm uh using the hydro brush you can see that i have these dots Usually when you have heavy rain, so this is how your mountains shapes up and this is how they are actually uh, becomes once uh, or like once the, like there is a heavy rain or when there is a wave hitting or those kind of things. So now we have here noise. This actually just like produces noise on your mountain ranges. So you can do that. You can decrease, increase your now noise scale or brush size then we have retop what it do is that is just uh make a uh, like a uh, like a, it's, it's it's kind of retopologize your uh your mountain peaks here okay so right now the it's saying the repo, uh, like topologize tool is not available at this point well, I don't want to go into too much details of uh, this tool. I never used it a lot. So visibility is basically uh, if you want, if you have layers and you have want to hide those layers. So with this tool, you can do that. This is for blueprint. This is a mirror. Uh, so what you can do is that you can take any surface here. Okay. And you can create a mirror of one part to the other part. Like suppose if it is here at this point, and if I uh, recenter this and apply, so what it will do the same, a left side is uh, is is being copied on the right side. So I will have this sort of a effect. So this is good for, you know, like creating a, a fantasy mountains or those kind of things. Okay. Now I have here copy. So I can take uh, some areas that you want to copy. Okay. And then uh, you can say copy data Gizmo. And then you can paste it anywhere. Okay. Just like this.
you can see that how it has been if I will draw it here this is how I will get the result okay because I'm I was copying from here and the same thing has been uh, like pasted here so this is how you can uh, like get these copy paste results here and you will notice that while you are sculpting you will see there is a edit layer option here you can create uh, as many layers you want this could be your layer one and then if I right click here create a new layer and in this new layer I can rename it to whatever I want and also I can sculpt something in this layers something like this maybe I can create noise in this layer so I can go to the noise and create noise all over or what I can do is that I can take this uh, sculpting tool okay and uh, and create noise with this cutting tools all over my design something like this okay and then maybe i can take some smooth uh, brush to smooth some areas here and what if i don't want this and i i decided okay uh it sh it looks good uh without this um like noisy texture so what you can do is that you can simply hide this uh layer or you can remove this layer and you can see that uh like you can see that how with the help of layers you can create so this is how you can uh, work in your uh landscape and this is how you can create your landscape plus you can paint with the materials here you can get, uh you can create your own material you can go to the landscape option in the outliner you can put the material here and then paint over here and in the next class we will learn how we can create our own landscape using external height maps from here so i hope uh this class was useful for you if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do it now and don't forget to hit the bell icon by the way i have noticed that many of you are watching my videos without subscribing so let's change that subscribe to my channel and be the part of the interactive community now here's something really important i want to talk about please do not download my videos, just watch them online. When you download them, it messes up my watch time hours. And that's a bummer. I want to keep creating awesome videos, but it's demotivating when I lose out on those stats. Thanks a bunch for your support. You guys rock. Catch you all in the next video.